Hey, how's it going? Nat here. Let's see what's making news. TikTok is making headlines again. This time it's being sued by more than a dozen states in the US for allegedly damaging the mental health of young people. Here's Justina. Yep, TikTok's having a pretty rough run in the US, as well as battling a recent law that could see the app banned in the country altogether. It's now been hit with another lawsuit. TikTok has intentionally and deliberately um, manipulated and hurt knowingly um, young people through its platform. More than a dozen states in the US, including New York, California and New Jersey, are accusing TikTok of damaging children's mental health. Because nationwide, children and teens are struggling with significantly high rates of depression, anxiety and other mental health issues, largely because of social media. They're claiming that TikTok is using intentionally addictive software designed to keep kids hooked on the app like autoplay, infinite scrolling or beauty filters. It has promoted excessive and addictive and compulsive use by design uh, of our children. TikTok disagrees, calling the claims inaccurate and misleading and says it's deeply committed to protecting teens and improving their product. So we'll have to wait and see who comes out on top. Back home, Polly's are still looking to crack down on age limits for social media to protect kids online, while some schools are taking matters into their own hands by teaching students about social media in the classroom. Here's Cushy. I know lots of people rely on social media as like a way to use their time. My attention span has gone down so much and I do not know how to get it back. Yep, these students in South Australia have spent a fair bit of time thinking and talking about social media. Teen content creator, there you go. Yeah. There's like the hashtag. It's all part of a special program at their school that teaches students all about the pros and cons of using some kinds of tech. Uh, we look at things like um, digital media, what it means to have a safe and positive digital footprint. Because you can't really control your feed, you can't control what comes up. Seeing the wrong content, seeing something you don't want to be seeing can impact you. And that's something our politicians are also worried about. The federal government is still working on new laws to restrict people who are underage from accessing social media in an effort to protect young people from harmful content. But in the meantime, these students have their own ideas. I think making it less addictive, making sure that like when you use something you don't want to, it won't come up again, like it gives you the option. I kind of made a rule for myself. Whenever I'm at my grandparents' house, I put like, I don't touch my phone. I leave it in the car or I leave it up in a spare, in their spare bedroom. The PM, Anthony Albanese, has apologised after asking a coalition frontbencher if they had Tourette syndrome during question time in Parliament. The idea that we're... Have you got Tourette's or something? <laughs> uh, you know, you know, you just sit there, babble, babble, babble. Tourette syndrome is a neurological disorder that can cause things like uncontrolled, quick and repeated movements or vocal sounds called tics. Mr Albanese later made a formal apology, describing his words as hurtful and unkind to Australians with disabilities. I apologise. Now it's time to win. <laughs> thank you. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> Just like these next stories. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> First up to the winners of this year's Nobel Prize in Physics, John Hopfield and Geoffrey Hinton, two scientists who paved the way for machine learning and artificial intelligence. But Geoffrey Hinton famously left his job at Google last year to speak up about the dangers of AI. As with all technologies, uh, it can be used for either good or bad, and that's up to us as human beings. The two winners get to split a cash prize of $1.6 million. Now to Alaska, where Fat Bear Week has come to an end. Yes, this year's tournament has seen many brown bears pack on the pounds to prepare for the winter months, with some big names exiting the competition early, like fan favourite and past winner 747. But this year's winner ended up being a bear by the name of 128 Grazer, who also won last year. Just look at that transformation. And finally, to a new world record for the most hot sauce eaten in three minutes. YouTuber Mike Jack Eats Heat, who's known for his spicy food stunts, managed to eat 1.123 kilograms of sauce before the timer ran out. That's too much sauce. <laughs> I agree. Well, that's all from us today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>